yeah, that's a the, hundred, the, the belt. belt. Yeah, it's a hundred percent old rope. Right. Which is so popular on the street these days. How do you think Jacqueline did as a model? Well, she's okay for a fat girl. Oh, <laughs> well, give her a hand. Give Jacqueline a hand. You know, Peter, you're really harping on these models being skinny. The girls have to be skinny. You know this. Okay, so this next outfit is going to bring the emaciated look to the forefront. Okay, Here we go. let's see what Farrah's got on. Ooh, Farrah's outfit. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that exciting? That's very exciting. Man, that makes her look really thin. Yes, it does. Look at that. You know what I call this one? What's that? Trick or treat, I don't eat meat. Uh-huh. Yes. Very good. And, and well, she's got something to carry her goodies in. Yes, that's a $400 plastic jack-o'-lantern purse. Ah. Yes, it's optional, of course, but it completes the look, and you wouldn't want to be caught dead without it. Ah, that's terrific. How about a hand for Farrah, everybody? Right. We're going to pick a leggy supermodel. Yes, What's yes. yours? What's I, the matter? I, am, I cannot sit by there and, uh, one more minute and watch another young girl's life ruined by this... This fashion, fashion. Oh my Boy, God! Boy, Mueller, these light oh, and fluffy shows you know, are not working out. Really get her away from, from me! She is too damn big. Oh. Oh. You're gonna be scaring oh. me. Well, I hope She's so. She's scared. You're oh, not oh, up here. Oh, She's you, scaring you me. You just shut up. Yes. You shut up. You pompous Swiss cheese puff. Oh. You, have, you have had your show at the expense of these young girls, and now it's my turn. I am not leaving this stage until the voices of big people have been heard. Clean your plate! Gain some weight! Clean your plate! Gain some weight! Oh, this show's gotten Clean heavy all of a sudden. Gain some weight! Clean your plate! Anyway, folks, uh, we're going to take a break. When we come back, we'll try to answer this woman's pleas of help and, and continue the model search. So, so stick around. Hey, folks, did you know you can get dick on the World Wide Web? Cruise on by. Everybody's got their little secrets. What guy hasn't put on a bra and panties while his wife straps on a tool belt and switch roles for the night? Okay, that would be no one. Uh, <laughs> listen more on the second half hour of Nightstand. Okay, we're back. We were going to do a light and frothy show about modeling, but it's become a rather dramatic, heavy show since since this woman decided to... No, it's true. Since this woman decided to stage a lion against Peter Midhelmet, who she claims only designs clothes for emaciated, anorexic women. Ma'am, who are you? Cindy Block. Cindy, if I let you sit on the panel and tell your story, will you let us get on with our leggy supermodel search? That's all I'm asking for. Okay, then come on up and have a seat there. <laughs> So, man, you obviously have a problem with this guy, right? Uh, do, you hear, do you want to hear some of the horror stories about when I was a model? What? You were a, you were a fashion model? That's right. That's just, uh, Look at this. I... Wow, this is you? Well, in the words of Jerry Lee Lewis, hey, lady. <laughs> Well, well, I, I see your point, but, uh, you know, I, I have a feeling this could get confrontational. So, audience, what do you, what do you think? It's going to be up to you. Do you want me to keep it light and frothy like Oprah, or do you want to do what Dick Dietrich does best? Big, hairy slap bites. What do you want? <laughs> Richard, Richard, what is going on here? I thought I was supposed to choose a wiener. <laughs> What is this? Peter, the show ain't over until the... until this lady sings. That's all right, Dick. You can say it. Fat lady. I can take it because big is beautiful. People do not have to look like skinny little cadavers anymore. But that's not Peter's fault. Yes, it is. He has got to stop encouraging them to look like that. You are sending the wrong message to young girls. And what message do you want me to send? That it's okay to be chubby and jolly? <laughs> that it's okay to have a charge account at Kentucky Fried Chicken? <laughs> this is growing so tiresome. I've heard this all before. Oh. Look, Richard, I am just giving my customers what they want. Oh. And the only reason you're angry is you can't wear my clothes. You can't wear my clothes. Oh. Is that true, oh. Cindy? Are you just angry because you can't wear 3D glasses and matching socks? <laughs> Look, mitt helmet. I don't need to wear your clothes or look like a pencil. Because when I look in the mirror, I see a beautiful woman. Thank you. Thank you. 
Thank you. Then you must live in a fun house, darling. That's right. Oh, yeah. Please. Well, I am twice the woman that those girls are, and I'll prove it. Okay, okay, then how are you going to prove it? Oh, my God. Put me in the contest, and, and I guarantee the audience will think that I am twice as beautiful as those girls. You can't prove it. No, no, she can't prove it. Because I don't have anything she can fit in. All of your clothes are made out of trash and garbage. I, I can make an outfit of my own. Well, come on, Dick, what do you say? Audience, what do you say? Yeah. There's your answer. Okay, when we come back, Cindy Block is going to enter the competition and Swiss fashion design... I mean Swiss fashion designer, Peter Midhelmet, will pick himself a wiener. Don't go away. Are you Siamese twins joined at the mouth? If so, give us a call. If you're going to be visiting the Hollywood area and would like to be part of our audience, write to us at Nightstand, 1438 North Gower Street, Box 44, Hollywood, California, 90028. Hi, Dick Dietrich here. Hey, if you're a man who likes to wear women's underwear, you're not alone. But you should be. Don't bother calling. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Welcome back to Nightstand. Designer extraordinaire Peter Mithelmet is going to announce the winner of the modeling contract. So let's meet the contestants once again. Contestant number one wearing the medical look is Kate. Contestant number two wearing the homeless ensemble is Jacqueline. And contestant number three in the skin and bones outfit is Farah. Century wearing your own design is Cindy Block. <laughs> Bubble wrap, I love that stuff. That's more fun than lighting one. Do you see how ridiculous this looks? I mean, do you see? The ridiculous. Oh my God. Oh my God. It is beautiful. Oh my God. The bubble wrap demonstrates how fragile we are as people. <laughs> oh, I love it. I'm going to put my name on it and sell it for $2,000, but only if you model it for me. Oh, no. <laughs> I am not losing weight again. Lose weight? No, no. I, I cannot believe I did not see this before. Maybe it was the lithium they offered in the green room. I don't know. But you are so beautiful. Oh, my God. Your whole body makes me want to scream sexy at the top of my lungs. Wow. And, and, and you're not normally a screamer. <laughs> you mean it? Oh, this is the first time in years that I'm awake. Look at my eyes. See, look at them. Awake and inspired. She wins the contest. Oh, she wins the contest. She wins the You girls are yesterday's news, so why don't you go eat some cake and call me in a year? That's right. Uh, hey, hey, hey. Listen, don't worry, girls. Don't worry. Get rid of those frowns. As a consolation prize, I've got a little something for you. You've all, you've all won contracts as interns for Dietrico Productions. How about that, huh? Now give me a little kiss. Come on, give me a little kiss. How about a kiss for Uncle Vicky? Come on, give me a kiss. Give me a kiss. <laughs> Probably time for my wrap-up. <laughs> so what have we learned tonight? Well, we've learned that fashion isn't what counts. What counts is what's inside. Because after all, when you, when you take away the dress and rip off the bra and pull down the panties, <laughs> what do you have left? The important stuff. <laughs> you. And you better make sure that works before you put your clothes back on. For now, I'm Dick Dietrich. See you soon. That was a whole lot of fun, but it isn't over yet. We've got a whole new show coming right up.
and thank you for accidentally tuning into our show. <laughs> History shows us that many famous people have led secret lives. FBI Director J. Edgar Hoover secretly dressed as a woman. Rumor has it sitcom star Brett Butler is secretly funny. <laughs> and supposedly President Clinton has secretly slept with Hillary. <laughs> but it's not just celebrities who keep secrets. Our first guest with a secret is a former junior high school teacher who was voted Teacher of the Year three years in a row. Please welcome Miss Catherine Most. Give her a hand.